After a long break, we are back, and we have a beautiful game here today in Modern Warfare 2. I've been watching Chris move lately, his old videos, and he used to play Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, and he made some great commentary videos on that. So I'm going to try and imitate Chris move and give you guys my best commentary. I bought an Elgato for this, and I'm just really motivated to make this video, so we will see how it goes. As you can see by the screen, I am level 1, and I am a noob, so I will play some games and I'll try and get a commentary quick. The lobbies took a little bit to find, but I eventually found one and I'm level 3, so it only took me two games to get to this level and we're going to be going with the commentary from the third game. It feels so good to start over again. This used to be my childhood playing this game in Modern Warfare 3. Starting new like this reminds me of a story. A story of when I created my first my career player in NBA 2K11. I didn't have a gaming console at the time, so I had to go to my cousin's house to play. He had created my career player, and he spent money and had been grinding for a long time, and he was, I think, at least a 95 overall. Come to think of it, he might have even been a 99 overall. He spent a lot of time playing that game. I had been watching my cousin play for a couple weeks, and I was so ready to create my own my player. I was so excited. And my time eventually came. My cousin was at a summer baseball practice and he wouldn't have to be back for a while. It was the perfect time for me to create a my player. I spent at least 15 minutes creating the perfect appearance. And as you can guess, I chose the shortest, fattest point guard that was possible. I am not kidding when I tell you that he was probably 4'8", 280 pounds. He was a chunky guy. I also spent a lot of time creating the perfect name for my beautiful bowling ball. I decided on the name Meacham. I grinded for a little bit and I was eventually able to get to the point where I was able to enter the draft. You guys have played 2k know how long the draft takes. It takes forever and you can't skip ahead to when you're taken. But eventually, after 15 minutes, it was my time. With the beautiful words, the NBA commissioner announced that with the 16th overall pick, yes, 16th overall, I wasn't even a lottery pick. I don't blame them, who would want a bowling ball on their team? But with the 16th overall pick, I was selected to the Philadelphia 76ers. It was the beautiful words hearing the commissioner say that Philadelphia 76ers took a chance on the 4 foot 10, 280 pound point guard from McDonald's, Meacham. And you know how game drafted is a big moment. I expected a ton of cheers from the crowd, but I got nothing. I'm not joking when I say that zero people cheered for me, but I was ready to show the world what Meacham has. It was time for the first game. Everything was going well to start. Fat Meacham and Andre Iguodala were putting on a show in their first game together. But in reality, I probably had zero points and seven turnovers. But that's besides the point. I was having the time of my life. The 76ers eventually won the game, and right after this game, my cousin comes home from baseball practice. And of course, he wants to play NBA 2K, my career. My cousin exited out of Meacham, and he went to the menus to select his my career player. However, the only person that popped up was Meacham. He gave me the weirdest look, like, who is in the fluff? Is this bowling ball named Meacham? It didn't take long, but we found out that his 95 or whatever overall was deleted when I created Meacham. Meacham, the 68 overall, replaced the 95 overall. Poor little Meacham was deleted. And I was never allowed to play NBA 2K, my career, ever again on my cousin's Xbox. But now that story time is over, we can get back to the game. I got Flash right here, getting ready to tactical knife him, but I got some text, and that was pretty unfortunate as I was almost at the care package, but it's alright, because we can get back on the streak. I don't know how I didn't kill him there, but it's alright, we get a double kill right here. Of course, I reload at the worst time, but that's a new level up. And this building's pretty hot in this game mode, so I like to stay in here. I don't really like camping, but overall, this was not a bad spot. And there are a lot of people, so it's a great chance to get kills as someone walks in there. But there was a lot of open spots, and that piano zebra was pretty good. But the spawns in this are just so... I get some text there when I should have gotten the kill, but get flashed there, but I'm still able to get the kill. Reload right here. Now by like 
just not many kills, but still a substantial lead that first place has on me. Should have just sniped him there, but it's alright. Got another UAV. It'll be nice once I can select my own kill streaks, but right now I'm just not high enough level to do that. Hit fire there, got kinda lucky, but sometimes the luck is all you need. Turn around and I hear the footsteps here. And of course the footsteps don't lie. Get my predator missile. Should have just knife there. But it doesn't really matter because there's person one kill away, so. It's very unlikely that I'll win. Miss a predator missile. Not my proudest moment, but able to get a good UMP kill right there. Just missed him right there. Call my UAV. Just a tad late on that kill, but I see another guy. The lag was kind of bad on these servers, and you'll be able to see that right here. I'm going for the kill. I knifed him there, but it didn't really register my knife, so that's kind of disappointing. There's a kill right there. Someone stole my Harrier, but that's alright, because there's not really much time. Got my UAV right behind me. The person right next to me, I didn't even see him. But as you'll see in this kill cam, he got quick scope right next to me, so... Thankfully it was him and not me. Can't complain about that. I'll start quick scoping sooner or later. Uh, it'll be just nice to level up here quick though. I went 23 and 12, which I'll take that in a free for all, which isn't the game that I'm most comfortable with. But what's mono for two video without noob tubes? Yep. Just had to show this. I'm glad that's not part of the game anymore. And then this game ended with a nuke, but. You guys can expect some more Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 